Well, we do have some active weather here as we hit the middle of the week. It's not going to be all that exciting, but we will have some showers, some rumbles of thunder around today as a cold front goes through. Visibility is in good shape. We've only got a little bit of patchy fog into our southeastern counties, and look at that. You got a couple of showers up over southern Indiana. This is part of a round that came in earlier this morning and really fell apart. There was some lightning west of Louisville. There you can see those showers diminishing, but now we're starting to see some renewed activity up over southern Indiana, and that will be the trend. The future track will bring that round through this morning and into the afternoon. We'll see that in a second. Much more active weather northeast, hardly anything off to the southwest. Some storms out around Oklahoma City and uh, or at least eastern Oklahoma. Here is where the severe threat is for today. It's all east coast. Uh, you've got a marginal risk running up through Tidewater, Virginia, all the way back to Charlotte, North Carolina, and then a slight risk from around D.C. all the way up into upstate New York, at least northern New York there. So this cold front, as it drops in, scattered showers, some rumbles of thunder, some gusty showers. But I've got you out to 1 o'clock this afternoon, and the boundary is already pushing through. So this will be a mid to late morning round, and then drop it into southeastern Kentucky this evening, and then it's out of here. And then we're set for beautiful weather because coming in behind that cold front, another ridge of high pressure that will be with us Thursday, Friday, will be east into the weekend, which means with the southwesterly wind shift, we start to warm things up for the weekend as well. So the timing working very well thanks to this high coming in. That's Friday. It's just getting into western Kentucky. Rainfall, a few hundreds to a few tenths of an inch. This is not going to be a big rain event, but uh, you could have a quick hit of some moderate rain there. And beyond that, our rain chances just go away. We are getting into an extended dry stretch. It was looking like we could see some rain into the middle of next week. Even that is somewhat in question. And at this point, we don't really need it, at least in the short term. These are our 30-day percentage of normal rainfall numbers, and we're running at almost 300% of what we typically see. So, yeah, we could use a second to dry out. Gulf Coast won't. That cluster of storms, whether or not it becomes tropical, is going to send heavy rain across the southeastern U.S. heading into the end of the week. And good old Larry, still spinning out in the Atlantic, still a formidable storm, but not looking as healthy as it once did. Uh, there's been some disruption to that, uh, uh, that concentric, uh, that ring, that uh, very annular shape to the, to the eye. Uh, you're starting to see some cloud cover obscuring it as well. So it's weakened somewhat. Still 115 mile per hour winds. And conditions aren't going to exactly be favorable for it to uh, get any stronger, but it could at least maintain intensity before it uh, becomes extra tropical and moves northeast. So the biggest issue for the U.S. isn't going to be landfall. It's going to be rip currents and high surf along the east coast. We're at 63 degrees. The dew point is in the 50s. And once we have this front come through, you'll have a brief little bump in the humidity. And then it'll drop again, and that's going to go along with highs in the upper 70s. So I tell you what, tomorrow afternoon, the day after, into the weekend, we've got beautiful days ahead. The only real significant change heading into the weekend is that warm-up back into the 80s.